Hi, it's uh, Bob from Lapbook, and we're here at LapCon 2023 Day 2, and with me I've got uh, Harriet from LapIn. Hey. And Harriet's going sh to show you what to look for in a, in a lap sword. Yes. All right, so when we're talking about safety, um, it's important to remember that every system that you go to might yeah. be different. Yep. Um, but if we're looking at the three, well, three or four major systems, they all have very similar rules. And um, you should look at where you're going for all the specifics. Those three systems, four systems though, they are looking for um, the sword to be made out of soft foam. And it's constructed like a sandwich. So you've got a core or a rod that goes in the middle. And that core shouldn't be exposed at any point. Yeah. Yeah. So that means that it should be soft on the end. It should have no bits where it's broken. You can't see that, that fiberglass core inside. Um, it shouldn't be broken around the cross guard either. That should be all sealed. And it should be soft also on the pommel. Yep. And in, none of that should be loose. So there shouldn't be um, any gaps in those three pieces either. Yep. So when you twist it gently, which is what a weapons checker would do, there's only a tiny bit of movement. It doesn't yep. move around the core at any point. The handle doesn't move. And like I said before, there's no core exposed at any point. Yeah, so those are, those are the basics, and those are the big the big systems. So we're talking here things like uh, Empire, Lobby and Trust, Curious Pastimes. Yes, and yeah, they really they set the main guidelines yep. for all the others. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, again, your point that every single lap is different. It's really important. Always, if you can, pre-check b before you go anywhere. Yeah, so when you're buying something, you should look for those points. Make sure there's no damage. Make sure there's a good amount of soft foam on all those points. Yeah. And uh, never leave a sword tipped oh, no, down. No, no, never ever do that. Yeah. That will ruin your sword. Um, anything else that you think? I think that, that's great, thank you. That's hopefully giving people some idea what to look for. Yeah. Oh, except be careful where you buy your sword from. <laughs> yes. Please make sure it's a reputable lap dealer. Yes. So there are some sword manufacturers which aim to sell to other markets. It's important to know that in Europe, the pommel of a sword doesn't have to be soft. Yeah. So that means that um, they make some really beautiful weapons and they do actually pass at some UK LARP systems, yeah. but they don't pass at those main three, at yeah. LT, CP or Profound Decisions. So you'll need something with soft, um, a soft pommel and yeah. a soft cross guard. Yeah, so importing can be a big problem because different, different countries, different cultures have different standards for these things. Yeah. Okay. But that's great, Harry. That's, that's really informative. Thank you so much for doing that. No problem at all. And uh, thank you. And to everybody taking some time to watch, thank you all very much.